Hey besties, it's your girl Jenny and today we have an Abercrombie and Fitch haul. I have a lot of new summer pieces from Abercrombie that I want to share with you guys. So if you guys didn't know, Abercrombie actually rebranded from like their logo craze hey days of our YouTube a more wardrobe essential pieces that kind of fit anyone's closet. So I wanted to grab some of the most like neutral essential pieces that you could find in a summer closet for you guys because I'm not really in the business of trying to find only trendy clothes to pop up like closet anymore and I just want pieces that are going to last an eternity if you will not to be dramatic but I'm just a little bit dramatic anyways we have a couple of shoes four pieces of shoes a couple bags just to style these on really quickly we are going to get started with this beautiful dress so let's wear it and talk about it look how pretty and elegant this is Okay, so the very first dress that we have on is this little slip material. I have a bra under that's tan color, so you guys can see the details. So this is really thin. It's not as thin as like a see-through, but it is thin enough where it's going to be comfortable in the summer. And it hugs you really good, and for all my petite ladies, Okay, I have adjustable straps here, which I find very useful just because a lot of Abercrombie clothes have always been a little bit big on me, especially with the new rebrand. I love the length of this and I feel like this is like still stretchy enough that I could kind of move like freely because a lot of these dresses kind of fit really tight on me and I love that it gives you like a little bit of a hug on the waistline. So if you guys have little curves like me, I like this little cinch in the waistline. It's really, really subtle too. It just makes this dress look really good. And I feel like any like black and white keyhole type dresses are really perfect for the summer. For the bag choice, I'd probably just go ahead and wear my Balenciaga one. And I feel like it gives such a nice classic look. Perfect for like breakfast at Tiffany's, shopping with the girls, or even like if you have like Converse, I feel like it might be cute for like a little picnic look. But I really like that it gives you the elegant, classy um, look without being too, too much. Okay, anyways, the next one we have on, we're gonna take a step away from like the elegance and turn into the sporty look. I started wearing this dress as soon as I got it just because like, it's like a sport dress. You cannot not like sport dresses. It's like a crosser, racer back with like some cutouts in the stomach. So good, you guys need this dress. Anyways, let's try it on. So this is the second dress. It's different from the other one like we just talked about because it's a very sporty material. It's one of just like those tennis dress materials, but this one, it does also have pockets just on one side. The best thing, obviously, is the pants. So you can wear this when you work out. I wore this when I was going to tennis. But I also just wear this when like I want to wear a dress, but just, you know, the sport part kind of makes it easy to wear a white dress. The best thing about this is that the white is not see-through at all. So you guys don't have to worry about wearing a bra or having your underwear show. I really like the cutouts right here too because it's just like the perfect amount of cutout. I feel like this shape of the dress, especially the white one with like the cutout detail, it's going to be super popular as it was already trending in the springtime, but I feel like it's just going to go on through the summer as well. If you want like a sporty dress but also have like a little cute summer dress to also wear. I feel like this dress is also super versatile. So I ended up picking it up. Got my dunks on but I feel like I want to wear non-Nike shoes this summer so we'll be back with the haul about that. For this bag since it's a sporty look I probably just wear my little Prada re-edition bag either without the strap. I feel like the strap kind of makes it look cooler almost so I probably just rock the strap. So yeah, <laughs> this is the back of the dress. Super cute. I love this dress so much. I've only had these clothes for like the last four days and I've already worn this dress like twice or three times. So it's a really nice dress. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Thank you, Abercrombie. Why are you following me around, bro? I can't work because of you. Ollie, say hi to everybody. Say subscribe to my mommy's channel, please. Guys, also, can you believe this little rascal is almost two years old already? My breath smell yummy or gross? This little boy's almost two. 
I love you. Okay, so for the next outfit, I feel like this is very hotel y Almost like this is definitely the most like non essential piece in this wardrobe. But I paired this knit crochet top with like an all beige, all ivory look. Um, I put on these like fun little cowboy gray boots from Dolce Vita. These are actually really comfortable. A lot of Dolce Vita shoes are like one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Not only are the heels super like padded, but the boots also are comfortable. So like if you guys need Coachella shoes already... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I feel like this dress could also be super casual if you style it a different way or less like concert festival-y because this one right now I feel like since it's an all beige look especially with the cowboy boots just gives it more of like a fun look especially with like the circular geometric bag I feel like it gives like a very fun festive look but I feel like if you pair it with a Balenciaga bag taking off the cowboy boots. So if you take off the boots and then put on some like little black heels with like a black bag, a very structured bag, I feel like it gives it a different edgier look to it rather than like the music festival vibe one. And I feel like this dress could be worn like at like a nighttime look now instead of like, again, a music festival look. So I feel like this dress, even though it is probably, you know, not the most essential piece, even though this piece might be the least essential piece out of all the items that I picked. I feel like it gives you different variety so that you can wear it at a music festival, outside with your friends, or if you even just put on regular sandals, just gives you a beach bohemian vibe. So very versatile dress, I really like it. I feel like the knit quality is super high quality. Also, I really like that it gives you another lining and the lining is actually secure and it goes the same length as your dress is so just gonna be super secure. The back length up here is also perfect. I feel like I don't really want it too high or too low, and I feel like Abercrombie kind of fixes that problem for us. Straps, good. Overall, super cute dress that you can wear a lot of different ways. So, highly recommend getting this little summer dress for yourself. Wouldn't it be so cute as a resort where I book myself another travel vacation? Okay, so for the rest of the outfit, since it's a pants and shirt kind of set, we're just gonna wear them together. So this is the next couple of pieces. This little pants right here is my favorite shape that I've been wearing all year long. The boot cut it has returned in full force. And I really like boot cuts that aren't just like blare all the way. Kind of gives me like hip hop 90s vibe. But this one gives me like, you know, like bohemian, very flowy, summertime, whatnot. I really also like that it has like a little cut right here, but it's not just like a cut, it kind of overlaps right here. So it gives you like a fun summertime look. I ordered, I think a size too small, but I also don't know if it's like a size too small or I've just been eating a lot since I've been trying to build a booty. But I definitely think I should have sized like one up. This is a size 24 and usually I'm a size 25 everywhere else. But I feel like every time I've tried the new Abercrombie stuff, a lot of the stuff has been actually super big on me. So I got a size 24. Four. Now I kind of regret that decision because this pants is supposed to be super comfortable and it like fits great everywhere else But then right here on my belly area I feel like it could have been my regular size But this is just me, you know, trying things out for you guys So you guys don't have to make the mistake, but it is comfortable without the pants button But I just think I got the wrong size. I definitely should have sized up Maybe Abercrombie has fixed your sizing issues or maybe I've just gained weight in my stomach area who knows and who cares? Either way, it fits. Anyways, this is the next shirt. And the shirt is just like a simple summer vest. I feel like, you know, I could wear this on like the Hamptons. I could wear this on a little golf course. I could, like I'm going to the Hamptons, I'm not. But <laughs> I could just wear this like anywhere and it will be perfectly acceptable. You can wear this with so many different outfits. You can wear it with the pants, the flare pants. You can also wear it with like a little tennis skirt, a silk skirt, some shorts. Like literally the world is your oyster when it comes to this shirt. I feel like even just like throw on any bag, bam. You look cute and you look ready for the day with this shirt, pants, and just remember you don't have to wear the exact same combination that I'm in. 
I'm wearing, but anything similar will do. I'm just trying to review Abercrombie & Fitch. New arrivals for you guys, so you guys know how the sizing works. Um, but everything is going to be in the description box down below. Like I did mention, most of the clothes that I bought on Abercrombie are size either 24 or X small, just because I ran into when their sizing was just too big. Anyways, we're going to try the last set of fits now. Okay, and finally, I have my last set on. I obviously have to throw in some denim shorts to a summer haul. This denim short set is just super cute. We're going to get back to this tie in a little bit. Anyways, I feel like this denim short is super cute. And I, for one, don't really like like super tight denim shorts because they just go up, you know, when you don't want it to. But these like longer length, like looser denim shorts are perfect just because denim is such a rough material like it's not like spandex or cotton this denim material though is it is kind of thick but it is definitely on like the thinner side of things it is still thick though one thing that i feel like this short is kind of annoying with is that it is a button up all the way to the top but as you guys can see it is more like a like a cross back gives you very 90s vibes right here because it has a tie it right in the corner. So it gives you like the pants look, the Dickies pants look that people are doing without actually folding the whole pants down. And it just kind of has it for you. And it's supposed to give you a little bit more of a curved shape. I feel like this is just kind of of a perfect length, not too short, not too high, not too short, not too long. I mean, um, it has good enough pockets that actually reach everywhere as well as the back pocket, super cute. I would just pair this with some sandals or sneakers like this. And then this top actually is really Really interesting because first I don't really know how to tie it because I feel like just leaving it like this kind of gives you like a different look especially if you're going for like an edgier look but when we're doing like denim shorts since it's a very like sweetheart girlfriend kind of look we're just gonna tie it in like a little ribbon I feel like it gives you like a corset top look without it being uncomfortable like a corset top by the way the first time I wore this I didn't know that these straps were adjustable come to find out now these actually have buttons right here and then you just adjust it to wherever length you want the strap to be so we get this top and this short set and i feel like these straps are kind of cute to move around super optional but you can also like lower them a little bit or just like cross them since they are adjustable but with this pants probably just rock my little prada re-edition crossbody like this call it a day. I feel like this outfit is just super cute. Perfect for like something simple like Disneyland, daily activities. I feel like you just can't miss with a white jean short look. Anyways, this is the final look from Abercrombie. I really like that Abercrombie kind of prices it pretty affordable for all these clothes because they are around like Zara pricing but definitely way better quality than Zara. Abercrombie is to almost Urbansia quality, I feel like, in a lot of their clothes. Anyways, this has been a Abercrombie and Fitch haul. I really actually like this little look that I pulled together. I feel like I'm gonna rock this tomorrow. Maybe if you guys see it on my Instagram. We all saw it here first. Anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys thought it was helpful. And if you guys have any other places you guys want me to review and try on, please let me know. Otherwise, please subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys next week. Bye! By the way, guys, if you guys are wondering why all my furniture isn't moving all the time, it's because I keep moving everything everywhere <laughs> but i have a updated vlog coming soon to all the decor so you guys will be updated you from the first time i saw ya you were not like the others a cool kind of melody you rattled my cage without warning kept it up right till the morning a new kind of ecstasy